unfortunately for the All Black Sevens team through injury, he's the one that carved that special treasure for them, which means so much. And they bring it out for big games such as this occasion. Scott Curry and Sam Dixon, vastly experienced, will chase this kickoff. And they go long into the hands of Rodrigo Iskro. Big tackle coming in already from Mugavi Black. Puts his man on the floor. Herman Schultz at scrum half. There is Luciano Gonzalez, so powerful. He's been brilliant for Argentina this season. Osadzuk's there as well. They decide to kick Argentina, big part of their game. They're going to make New Zealand run this back. Amanaki Nicole, who scored a couple of brilliant physical tries yesterday in the round of 16. And Rocco Lasso in that playmaking position gives it to former captain Scott Curry. Took a bit of a breather, now back in black on the Sevens World Series. Long ball over the top from Nicole to young Moses Leo. He's taken care of well. Off the foot, play on! Santiago Vitafeld, and they've got it back there. Argentinians and here they come now good attacking opportunity you feel here in Cape Town the neutrals are backing the South Americans off the foot no knock on Raval kicks through for Schiltz he hits the deck whistle goes penalty Argentina well this will be inter interesting to see you can keep your ground if you come off your line then it is a penalty Schultz is the one Gaston Raval puts the kick through now he can stay there i think that's wrong i think he's got there definitely wrong amanaki mccall doesn't have to shift there yeah, only once in a world cup way back in 2001 right, let's go, a man alongside me appeared for new zealand fond yeah. memories yeah it was we beat them in the semi-final at home we weren't uh they weren't very gracious hosts <laughs> revol gives it to gonzalez they're not giving much away here nice. either, Argentina. Looking to strike first in the championship quarterfinal. Osadzuk just delays the ball, flicks it out the back, and Herman Schultz scores for Argentina. Clinical with their first genuine opportunity. That's the type of form that's got them dining at the top table of rugby sevens. But you can take this try all the way back to the kick that they put through. When they were deep in their 22, New Zealand turned the ball over, and from there, you're right, Rupert, absolutely ruthless. Great passing, under pressure. Look at that ball. Absolute beautiful dish from Mateus Osatschuk. Out wide for Herman Schultz, who we know is ultra experienced and can score a try. The big Cordobans been bashing it up for Argentina all season long. 28 years of age, and he's put his team in front here. They go long from Revol over the head of Nicole. Excellent restart from the old stage. Gee, he's good, isn't he, Revol? 35 years of age, still getting it done. I'll tell you what, this is New Zealand like tactics from Argentina, kicking the ball down, using their defense to get turnovers, now kicking it long, putting New Zealand under pressure right from this throw. Well, let's see how they handle this situation, New Zealand. Conceding early. Clinical off the line out. Mugabe Black. To Molia, Leo, he's got the pace on the edge. Flicks it back inside to the co-captain, Sioni Molia, Rocco Lasso. Here's Dixon. Came up with a couple of excellent try assists in the big win against Scotland yesterday. He's leading this team very expertly at the moment. Here's the man from Canterbury over the top to Molia. Crowd might have thought it was forward, but he will just stretch his legs, spin it inside to Scott Curry, and there's the response from New Zealand. Oh, I'm with you. I'm exactly with you. That pass has got questions all over it. New Zealand are going to get the score. He's not going to look at it either. Here it is here. Oh, on that angle, it's fine ball. Very tough to tell, but anyway, New Zealand take their chance. Certainly, Molly, I thought he could have finished it himself. But decides he knows how important it is to score under the post and get that conversion. A couple of silver medalists from Tokyo in tandem there. Malia and Curry, that's from Rocco Lesoa. And no problem from right in front with the extra two. So New Zealand take the lead. A bit of fortune perhaps with the call, but you can't go 
to the television match official for a forward pass has to be called live just hearing that marcus moneta listed on the bench for argentina he's actually not there the former world player of the year dream team of this season he's injured he will not feature in this match how pivotal could that be he often comes on and makes the difference for them new zealand have it back off the restart but it's gone forward just under two minutes to go in this first half it's a bit slow too getting up as Moses Leo went up nice and high and contestable the young man on oh yeah the old legs not good had their injury problems haven't they New Zealand are late falling like flies when they went to the Los Angeles title a couple of years ago he's gonna carry on Moses Leo back out on the wing Oh, it's a World Cup quarter-final. No way this young man's going to miss out on that, and they need him too. We talk about the loss of Moneta. New Zealand can ill afford to lose Moses Leo. Crouch! Find! High Set. over the scrum, which Revol will feed. Two powerful front threes. New Zealand put the pinch on Argentina, and they get the decision. Oh, how about that from Nicole Curry and Dixon up front? I'll tell you what, the number two for me has been the real standout in the first couple of days. Look at that power shifts. Sammy Dixon piles through, Scott Curry piles through. I'm going to Nicole Scott Curry goes, yeah, come on, son. And that's the, that's one of the more powerful front three in rugby sevens. New Zealand is shoving back there. And that's what Argentina are known for. Attacking line out. New Zealand lead by two. 30 to go in this first half. Nicole, back to Rocco Lissoa, the little pitch kick just... Puts a foot in touch. Good work from Revol on the short side. Read it nicely. Yeah, fantastic there. The experienced player saved him too. Rockley saw so good with his footwork. Now the pressure's on Revol oh, with nice. the throw in. Yeah, interesting to see what they do here. Do they take, win the lineup, take their medicine, go to drinks, just two behind, or they chance their hand. Dixon's climbed high and won it for New Zealand. Big play from the skipper. Agave Black sends it back to Rocco Lasso and Nicole again. Here is Dixon just straight down Main Street. Mugabe Black. Molia. Angled run, Leo. Limping earlier, just almost slips on this slightly damp surface here in Cape Town. That's loose for Gonzalez. He hacks it ahead. Anything could happen here. Mugabe Black has gone into touch. And that should do us for the first half not much in it just the conversion the difference you get the feeling this one's going all the way new zealand lead argentina 7-5 in the quarter final oh, argentina struck first with the try to herman schultz Good move off the penalty set piece. New Zealand responded with a breakaway finished by Scott Curry. The conversion from Rocco Lasso has put them two points in front. We go inside the huddle. Clark Laidlaw and the white baseball cap head coach. Inside the Argentina huddle, you can hear the voice of Santiago Gomez Corner. Great of rugby sevens as a player. And the shots there doing the talk. Zealand leading Argentina 7-5 at halftime. Here's a, a look at the stats for you. 25 passes to 12, Carl. Lots of possession for New Zealand. Would you expect them to be further ahead or about even on what you're seeing? No, I would say that the way that she just started that game, got that first score, I'm not surprised that they did try and dominate position. That's the way they build tries. That's the way they play. Let's try and manufacture it. Argentina, you know they're going to try and kick it long and just back their defense and force New Zealand out. 
fish in these conditions where it is a bit wet. He's going to wait to restart. Revolt comes the near side in the direction of Dixon. Former Aussie Rules player. That's gone loose, though. Dixon's gotten up holding his finger. I don't know if he might have a dislocation there. He's walking to the sideline, just out of shot on the near side. Yeah, he's taken a knee, his, the New Zealand captain. Yeah, well, he's already had a strap by the looks, but he doesn't look comfortable whatsoever, so they just are going to adjust it, I think, here, Rupert, exactly right. He's a tough old character, though, the skip. There's no way he's going to come off. Are you staying on if that happens to you, KT, or are you off to get it treated, or what? I'm calling for the Westpac helicopter, Rupert. <laughs> There are other brands available. 7-5 to New Zealand. At least start. So crucial, isn't it? Sam Dixon usually eats those for breakfast, but perhaps they landed on the point of the finger, which is why he couldn't take it cleanly. He's played once on the 22 series. These two sides. That was in Singapore. New Zealand okay. won at 12-10. New Zealand, of course, missed most of the series. They came back in Singapore. Ended up finishing eighth. Argentina fourth. Their highest ever finish in the history of World Rugby Sevens. Gives you an idea of how vastly improved this Los Pumas Sevens team is. Dixon's straightened up his digits and he's won the line out for New Zealand. McGarvey Black could tackle on him. And a penalty to Argentina. Really good defense. Jochen de la Vega goes quickly now. Vera fell to Schiltz. He was looking for Gonzalez. He can't quite keep it in field. It goes over the sideline. That was some heavy contact between Dixon and Schiltz there. Oh, they're doing everything right, though, Argentina. They're getting right areas. They created the 2 1 on the outside with Schiltz. He knows Gonzalez. They're still blowing up. They know there's a massive opportunity. Been through the wars as Sam Dixon has, and he's missed some big tournaments. We mentioned San Francisco four years ago with injury. Ruptured a bicep. He's done all sorts. But he's a warrior. And here he is winning the lineup. A bit of momentum from the drive off it as well. A la 15 aside rugby. There's Mugabe Black. They decide to kick New Zealand, but that's been charged down by Matias Osadzu. But it's loose. It's gone Ladies. backwards, says the referee. We play on. Here's Leo. That could have gone anywhere. Leo, great carry from Moses Leo. He's over the halfway line. Gonzalez is on the chase. Leo changes direction and he will score. Moses Leo, injured in the first half, comes up with a quite brilliant play in the second. Mental toughness. That's what Moses Leo has got. Look at him here, the young kid. Absolute box office, this one. Nearly drops the ball through Gustav Revolt's attempt to tackle. Still had a chaser coming, but the young man gets it done from deep. Oh, they'll be cheering on the north shore of Auckland for that one. Moses Leo goes the distance for the All Black Sevens. Just had to think very much against the run of play route, but it could have been an easy score for Argentina after the charge down for this young man here kept his head backed himself and scores from deep he's earned himself a rest as well as Moses Leo looks like Caleb Tangata is out there in the eight shirt for New Zealand really well one off the restart by Argentina it's gone quite a way back though Herman Schultz Please. does well just the stained field there. Look at Revolt working so hard to maintain possession here. The counter ruck from Nicole. He's the power man at the breakdown. Here's Gonzalez speaking of muscle. Dixon puts him on the floor. Schultz, a little short pull. Jordan Way almost gets sandwiched. I think he did actually. And he's stayed down the Australian referee. Both of them, I think, took a headshot here. Sam Dixon on Way. Well, they'll stop play here and make sure everyone's okay. Sam Dixon's up on his feet, but the referee, well, I think collided with Dixon there, is still on the floor. A lot of concern for, for Jordan Way here. He's up on one knee, which is good to see. And of course, he'll be determined to carry on. If there's any doubt at all, they'll 
make sure he's okay. And a bit of claret as well for Sam Dixon. It's a fast, fluid moving sport, isn't it? And there's a short runner from Argentina. And unfortunately, just come into Jordan Way and Sammy Dixon. So big collision. Tough old man, Jordan Way, though. Played internationally himself, so he'll be good. He's up and going. A couple of experience assistants, too. I think Tavita would offer an advantage there. And you know, if they needed to make a change, they could do that. 3.40 to go here in New Zealand with the two tries, one converted. Clark Laidler on the left. Former Scotland sevens player, Santiago Gomez Cor on the right. And the blue beanie. Speaking of injuries, Santi ruptured his Achilles tendon on the way home from a sevens event. Playing football, I think, on the day he got home. So he's been in rehab too. First one to score over 200 tries in the rugby sevens. It's a Pablo Duarte that's about to come on. He's standing to Santiago Gomez now, sideline. Jordan Way is going to have to head to the sideline here. That's, and there's Paolo Duarte, Portuguese referees. Refereed stacks and stacks of games on the Sevens World Series over, over several cycles. We talk about moments for players. This is a massive moment as well with swapping of the referee. We just have to swap their tops, I think, with all the gears that they have on. Well, yeah, he had a white shirt on, you can see, and he didn't want to put that on because it's a bit too much like Argentina, so wisely he'll put the pink one on. So he stands out. Carlo Duarte. Always prepare for this situation, officials, don't they? I mean, it almost never happens, but it's happened now. And that's the thing, we talk about the mental ability to be fluid oh, in the game best. of seven, so Duarte will have to do that. It's actually Rocco Verini, he's going to go into the middle. Oh, yes. Duarte's going to go to the side. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah 100%. Thought, the assistant would go on and referee the game so after all that it's going to be Argentinian ball because they were in position when the collision happened let's go okay Crouch. time's back on Argentina trailing Nine. New Zealand by seven points Set. Hold. and Alejo Lavallén a rookie in this Argentina side is on playing scrum half and here's Osadzo Left the sevens program to play 15s for a little while, but good to see him back. Very useful guy to have around, as is this man, Jochen De La Vega. All Penalty, back, lost Puma sevens. Gonzalez said, just slow it down. We'll kick to the sideline, eat up some easy meters. Well, smart here by Schultz. He actually locked in Rockley Soul, so he couldn't roll away from that. That's, that's smart from the big Argentinian forward just to get that penalty and release some pressure. They've been stuck down here for quite a while. Is he going to tap this? No, he's going to put it to the boot. Some decent distance on it as well, up towards halfway. And here's the penalty. Good hit. Rockley saw gets caught on the wrong side. Look how Schultz just keeps him locked in there. Smart play. New Zealand here will contest at the line out. Scott Curry will be the one to be lifted. Schultz is the one for Argentina who will receive the just ball in the their line out. Give the gap. Give the gap. Love a yen. 22 years of age. A new playmaker in this team. They go short at the front to Argentina. It was read well too by Tony. Bowling shoot for New Zealand. He's won his team a line out. Well, that was a good shot of it. There was no way that was straight either. So New Zealand unlucky there, but they're going to get another shot of it. Tony Nga Shu comes on. He's physical as well. There you go. 11 game win streak. 2013 and 2018 championships. At Rugby World Cup of Sevens, Moscow and San Francisco. Will it be Cape Town too? Long way to go in this tournament yet, and in this game as well. New Zealand, though, with a seven-point advantage. They're in control of the scoreboard, and the clock as well now in possession. Nashu with a good carry after his excellent defensive work, but it's gone forward off New Zealand. Is he? Knock on first by White. Black first. All Black Sevens knock on first. It'll be an Argentina feed. They'll get another chance. Zealand got a loaded bench. You speak about how many injuries they've had. Well, they've got some guys who have come back. Kurt Baker's Sub back into two. the mix. Hold your experience. Louis Ormond as well. Another player who's just come into the scrum now. And number four. Yeah, Lewis Ormond. Sub. Back in the New Zealand Sevens team. 
Debbie in Hong Kong way back in 2015. Hurokola Soa is heading to the sideline, as is Nicole. Coming on for Argentina is Tobias Wade in the team shirt. Let's they go. need something here, Argentina, don't right. they? Once again, still locked in their own half. Just over a minute Five. to go. New Zealand been very physical in this one, but Six. I need something oh. right now. We've already seen New Zealand turn the ball Wait. over Wait. right in this situation before in this game. But that was solid from the Pumas. Here they come. Gonzalez. The leg drive of Luciano Gonzalez just manages to fling it back in field to Tobias Wade. The fresh legs counter up from New Zealand. They don't win it. Lavallen. Just delay of pass to Gonzalez. Baker goes in for the turnover for New Zealand in his third Rugby World Cup of sevens. Tobias Wade, a bit of space now. Osadzuk, you can hear the crowd getting behind this Argentina side now. They want to see this one go to Golden Point. A converted try would do just that. Here's Herman Schultz now for Los Pumas sevens. Lavallen surveys his options. Gonzalez. Playing good keep ball here, Argentina. Schultz, Gonzalez, trying to get away from Orman. There's the hooter for full time. Final play. Can Argentina do it? It's gone forward in contact, and that will be that. Well, the disappointment for Jochen de la Vega. They were looking good there, Argentina, but New Zealand hold on in a tight, tense championship quarter-final. Those two tries for New Zealand were just enough. They've beaten Argentina 